let me show you how i designed this church building dedication brochure in corridor so i'll be designing just the page. so in case you're in a hurry to go anywhere or your girlfriend is waiting for you somewhere please you can go and come back and watch this video later but if you are here to learn stick around to the very end of this video and watch so open your career draw now what we're going to do is um, arrange our page size page dimension or the size we're making use of is a3 to a4 do you understand in case you don't understand that means you're not subscribed to this channel now what we're going to do is head up to our property bar select your letters and change this to a3 now this is what you're going to have so next thing you're going to do is change your orientation to landscape you can use portrait you can use landscape portrait on a4 landscape on a3 you can rearrange letter for printing i know you don't understand what i said but just watch the design this one is to be another video for on its own now what we're going to do is come back to the property bar and select landscape now select your rectangle to double click on it and it will bring itself to the middle or your canva i don't mean canvas software now what you're going to do is we're going to demarcate this page in two right so you can see we have um about nine anchor points here what you're going to do is basically select the middle one on the right you can select from the left now what you're going to do is push it to the middle it's not actually in the middle but if you get it to the middle congratulations now what you're going to do is come out to the one on the left which is the midpoint on the left that bomb you're seeing there that is on the left that's what i mean stop looking at me now hold your shift or hold your control sorry flip to the right then highlight everything using control plus a or select everything now you can see this one is not aligned to this page what you're going to do is drag it to this spot once you drag it check very well Lou. use your eyeglasses use your glasses and check it very well once it's aligned the next thing you're going to do is bring another rectangle tool again and in this point we are going to create our margin select change your unit to inches on your property bar all right now what you're going to do is select zero points let's use 0 0.9 by 0 0.9 in this video because the inner page is, is kind of much so what we're going to do now is bring in our our ruler to this part then drag another one to this part now the next thing we're going to do is select this select this what i mean by select this select this select the box you created select it select the box that small box ah voila that small box you see you're selecting that small box you see there once you select it just drag this to this spot all right when you drag it to this spot leave it there okay now hold shift use letter r to take it to the right i've done this countless times just for those who are joining us for the first time now drag this one here um hold your shift bring it to this part bring your ruler and um sorry if you don't understand this particular one there's a special video i made for this particular thing so go and watch it yeah go and watch it so now drag this one to the middle hold this shift hold the box press letter r to take it to the right then bring this one here and um you can delete first of all there's an automatic way to do this do you understand so we're doing the manual one now highlight everything select this form you're seeing on that place on your colors you will see there's a white box with is red slash once you right click on it it will remove your this thing um what's it called your um your outline or your stroke do you understand now um the next thing you're going to do is what you're going to do now is you're going to import your images for this tutorial all right so 
Now to do that, come over to file, select import, shortcut is control plus I. Then the next thing you're going to see is this one. So come over to where your file is save. Alright, so these are everything we're going to make use of, right? So select everything apart from the text, then click on import, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. This is one of the simplest tutorial we're going to do. So now what we're going to do now is um, this is a church building dedication, all right? Church building dedication. So I'm going to drag this church building here. This is the church building, Ave Maria Catholic Church. All right, so I'm going to just drag this one over here. Right click and select power clip, place it into this frame. And that is what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this cutting. Now, somebody asked me a question. First of all, let me place this first. So I'm going to just drag this one here and um bring this one here using my my shape too all right so i'm going to just drag this guy up here once i drag it up i'm going to place it over here do you understand you don't understand that means you're not subscribed now i'm going to right click select power clip then place it into this frame now this is what you're going to have so i'm going to right click again select edit power clip I'm, come, I'm going to come into this place and drag this guy down here. Reduce it this way. Bring him up this way. Reduce it again. Then leave that to that. Now this is what you're going to have. So why am I using this concept? This is actually um, this is a church dedication. So I'm using an, a cutting like you're opening something new. Like you're unveiling. So that's the reason why I downloaded this thing. Do you understand? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this Kai background, cut it, go into the frame, paste it, then use Shift plus page down to take it behind fill this way. So you can actually drag this up this way and leave that to that. So that is what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this, this leaf, this palm, palm leaf I downloaded. So I'm going to just use my shape tool and cut out this, this one below. And I'm going to place it just right here. Right click, select power clip, place it into this frame. Now you can leave that over there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the logo, the church logo, place it here. All right, so once I place it here, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Now I'm going to come back to my text, copy church dedication. And paste this one here now the next thing we're going to do is uh i'm going to come back to this font paste it here this is the name of the font i'm going to put everything for you guys in the down description below now this is what you're going to have the font is this i'm going to change it to capital letter shift f3 on your keyboard then click on uppercase then click on ok now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to break this apart, break this apart this way. Now, I'm going to scale this up this way, then give it what? We're going to give it a white color. Now, I'm going to break it apart again. Then the font, I want to change the font of the church, right, to this desire, desirable brush. Now, change it to, if you're seeing something like this after downloading the font, please change it to small letter using shift f3 then use title case then click on ok now bring this one down here all right so sometimes if you're choosing your font let me explain something to you guys if you're choosing your font right if you're choosing your font please always choose fonts that suit what you're doing like like this is church education somebody will come and put one bold font here it's as if you're shouting at people you understand this one is more calm and you get what i'm saying so choose your font wisely now i'm going to just place this one here all right so we're going to come over to the text again and we're going to copy the, the address where the dedication will be held all right so once we do that we're going to place this one here we're going to use monstrat for this reduce the fonts and we're going to scale this up this way place it just right here do you understand we're going to place it just right here so um for this we're going to create an icon 
location icon this way all right then i'm going to come over to this create a box this way for this one use your shape tool use ctrl q to change it to oh sorry don't use ctrl q follow long cut right click select convert to curve shortcut is ctrl q now bring this one to the middle delete this guy then bring this guy here scale it up a bit uh, bring this one you can scale it up this way all right so once you do that what you're going to do is bring this one in here this way then select this boat then go to your trim and trim this this way then what you're going to do is um, trim this one also trim this one also so this is what you're going to have guys so we're going to give this yellow color so we're going to just bring this one in here bring this guy in here all right so this is what you're going to have so because you can download that stuff if you wish if you want if you wish so that is it charge dedication and we're going to come over to this and copy the dates for the dedication we're going to paste it just right here then i want to select one from this using my shape two all right I'm going to drag this one here, drag this one here, drag this down here. Then you can just delete this guy from here. I'm going to place this one here this way by um, basically scaling it up this way. Then I'm going to bring my dates, place it here. Then I'm going to select a color using my pick eyedropper tool. Then select this dark color here. Then I'm going to change the font to this. Mm. let's change the font to this then i'm going to drag this one this way break it apart then drag this one this way basically do this make sure they are aligned all right make sure it's aligned together drag this one this way then scale this up align it properly then this is what you are going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do is um basically for this back page there's no information for the back page actually so i'm going to just select a color and drop it here the one i'm going to do i'm going to come over to this copy this i'm going to copy the building short building come over to this and um fade it out this way right click select power clip place it in here you can scale it up again then what i'm going to do i'm going to bring this church dedication place it here and probably give it blue color and guys um this is how we design this church dedication building building dedication in current draw so if you have any question please drop me a comment in the comment section below and guys for those of you who are asking me a question on how to download this cutting so basically if you come to your pinterest right or anywhere you want to download background anything search for open cutting you can put blue open cutting put the color you want and it will come it will come right it will come this way do you understand it will come this way so this is what um this is what you're gonna get this is what you're gonna get so basically this is how we design this this stuff in correct draw so if you have any question like i said drop me a comment in the comment section below and first of all i'm angry why am i angry um we'll talk about it in the